TV. Peace, blessings, love. We're back with another edition of QTV right here live at the Grand Sukhumvit Soy 6 in Thailand, Bangkok. I have with me today not only the father of hip hop, the grandfather of hip hop, the Amun Ra, the Universal Zulu Nation, all the way from the Bronx, New York City, back here to Bangkok. A few months ago, we were blessed with your son. Africa Bambada, now we have you here. It's a total honor, sir. Welcome to Thailand. So what are your thoughts on Thailand so far? Thailand, very ancient, very modern. It's the funk, the frequency of your soul, the power, the love of the people. It's great to be here, my brother. Thank and it's you, great brother. to be in your presence. It's good to be here, you know, I'm, you know, they call this three the hard way with traveling map, but these rules are going to go out the window. We got, we normally ask you three questions, three answers. We'll, we'll start off with, uh, you know, what were some of your inspirations for, I mean, you not only created hip hop, you named it. Where, where, where did, where, what are three of the factors that, that made you decide this music is going to be called hip hop? Well, hearing cliches and raps for my brothers like Lovebug Stosky, who was also part of my group, The Black Spades, and our group called The Black Spades, and my brother Keith Cowboy, who was also of The Black Spades, when we used to give all our parties and they used to get down and at that time a lot of disco and all that stuff was happening, on b and soul. And they used to have certain raps in it where they talking about a hip hop and stuff like that. And when it came to me and asked me, the media, what do you call this? We could have said the boy young young. We could have said the go off. But I decided to say this is hip hop. So then it took over. The name spread it. And we got hip hop culture all over this great planet, so called Earth. Did you have any idea when you started this how big? it could be? Well, I don't know it's going to be super big as it is today, but I had a vision to start traveling to spread it through the universe of Zulu Nation to make it big, to bring the culture to as many places, city, towns, countries as we can. Now, we normally talk about things in threes here, but with hip hop, we all know there's basically four, some people say five elements of hip hop. What, what makes hip-hop for you? Well, hip-hop, you gotta start with your DJs. You gotta give it up to the B-boys and the B-girls. You gotta give it up to the masters of the ceremonies, the MCs. You gotta give it up to the aerosol writers, the graffiti artists. And that fifth element, the fifth element that holds it all together, as we say in the Universal Zulu Nation, knowledge, culture, overstanding as well as understanding and understanding. This makes up the whole culture of hip hop. Then you add plus elements when you want to add the beatboxing, and the fashion, the DJs and all that. Those are all plus elements, but these are the basic five elements. And that basic core is what the Universal Zulu Nation teaches. I mean, what, what is the Universal Zulu Nation to those who are not familiar with it? The Universal Zulu Nation is international hip hop awareness movement the roots, the first family of hip hop culture, the Universal Zulu Nation deals with knowledge, wisdom, understanding, freedom, justice, and equality, peace, unity, love, and having fun, work, overcoming the negative to the positive, science, facts, the oneness of the supreme force, whether you call it him, her, or it, Allah, Jehovah, Yahweh, Elohim, Jah, El Kalum, Anu, or the ancients of all the names, Atum, Amin Ra. This is all part of the Universal Zulu Nation. Now, you've been named one of the 25 most influential Americans of the last century by Life Magazine. 
your song Planet Rock is known all over what you call Planet Rock, you know, the small little rock we live on. What were some of the inspirations behind that, the music you make and, and that track in particular? Well, many inspirations that I have used over the years to make my music. I definitely got to give the greatness to the God James Brown, the great kings and queens, the great Sly and the Family Stone, the master of the funk that the both James and Sly bought, Uncle George Parliament Funkadelic Clinton, as well as Kraftwerk, Yellow Magic Orchestra, Gary Newman, Dick Hyman, John Carpenter of the Halloween movies, and then your Motown sounds, the Stax Work sound, the Curtis Mayfield, Isaac Brothers, and the Queen herself, Aretha Franklin. So, what's happened to the Soul Sonic Force, and what what's the future hold for you? Do you have new albums coming out? You are uh, working on books, movies, and video games. You, you're involved with all forms of media. Uh, where, where, where are you off to next? We still travel in many, many cities, countries, and towns on our great planet Earth. The Soul Sonic Force is still doing shows, and every now and then, when I got time to meet up with my group, we all get together and we slam down like we used to do back in the day, and we still do today. And I'm making a lot of recordings with Africa Islam, better known as Charlie Funk these days, with the mighty Macombo, doing the Zulu walk, giving up songs like The Battles, and doing other different songs with other different producers and artists throughout Mother Earth. You've worked with people like Nelson Mandela, and, and, and as well as James Brown, and, and so many influential people. I don't know, where is the, uh, is, is more of your life now dedicated to charity or music or or just making the Zulu Nation stronger so that others can can take your knowledge and your your vision further? Well we still out there trying to teach what is true hip hop culture as a movement. We trying to also build a dome, Universal Zulu Nation Dome Cultural Center. We need many people to send your money in to help us to make this happen because this is like a united nation of the streets for many youth and young adults and people to come and speak their problems in a real atmosphere for the people, by the people, as well as we trying to warn people on this great planet Earth that the planet Earth is a living entity. And if you keep causing chaos and destruction on the planet, the wrath of the Supreme Force through many of the different names we call him, her, or it, will bring the wrath of destruction to many humans with tsunamis, earthquakes, tornadoes, typhoons, and then some. So you got to respect the planet, respect where we at in the universe, and also we are not alone. So where can people go to learn more about you or help out the Zulu Nation or even become a member? You can either go to www.zulunation.com or you can look up Universal Zulu Nation, the different websites that many of the different Zulus have all around the world in their respective countries and territories. And you can come to many of the Zulu kings and queens who are spread out all over this great planet so-called Earth. And for all you other beings in the other parts of the universe, you can go check with some of the beings in your own special planet, your special rock, to be part of the universal. And when we say universal, we are talking universal, not of just Mother Earth. We don't care if an extraterrestrial being comes from another planet. Is he about peace, unity, love, and having fun? He could get part, or she could get part, or it could be part of the universal Zulu nation. And to the subterranean people, within our earth, they also could be part of the Zulu Nation. Big ups to Agatha and Shambhala. We've definitely had a lot of fun. We've learned a lot of, about peace. And definitely, we're putting in work to spread this all over 
from Q-Bar, Bangkok, to the world. We're going to be on YouTube. Hopefully we will see this on the Zulu Nation website and all over the world to all the Zulus. I want to say peace. Africa Islam will be back again soon. Hopefully we will have you back again soon. And uh, more and more of the Universal Zulu Nation come visit us at Q-Bar. Uh, very soon. Now. We hope so too, my brother. We'll be back to the great Bangkok, the great Thailand. Peace and unity to all the brothers and sisters all over Thailand. To the Universal Zulu Nation of Thailand. This is Zulu Matt. And he's traveling to wake up your funky mind. Peace, unity, love, and having fun. Thanks a lot, Q-Bar TV. Once again, we're live from the Grand Superbit right here on Soy 6. We'll see you guys all again. We have more coming your way soon. Our kill from J5 will be coming. We got many more surprises. Keep in touch. Check us out on our Twitter feed, Q-Bar Bangkok, www.qbarbangkok.com, or Q-Bar space bkk on facebook we'll see your face hopefully we'll see your face again real soon if you want until next time peace unity love